pounds. Let's take it and put it into your bank. It's going to put you in the lead. And you've still got two counters left as well. Here's your next question. Originating in ancient Japan, what word follows samurai in the name... Linda. Sword. In the name of a single-edged weapon. Yes, it is a samurai sword. Well done, Linda. Now, would you like to play Linda or would you like to pass? I'd like to pass. OK, who are you going to pass to? Simon, Tony or Rob? Tony. Tony! And where do you want to go? I'm going to go drop zone four. Right, change it up. Four up, please. Flag settles well. Yeah, here we go. Slides forward is drop zone four, ready on the tipping point. Oh, oh. not quite. Oh. You're right to pass that one, Linda. Wasn't quite ready. So, Tony, you're down £450. You've still got one counter to play. Next question. In the Gospels of Matthew and Luke, Jesus says that man shall not live by what foodstuff? Linda. Bread. Bread alone. You're absolutely right, yes. Right, Linda, do you want to play this time? Drops on four. Right, fire up four, please. Oh, smoothly settles just where Tony left hers. Hope so. There's a bit oh. of textbook tipping point flip, flip, here. Flip. It just flipped in time. Yeah, it is. Well done. Oh, oh, yes. oh, oh, oh. I nearly won. <laughs> Somehow, it's clinging on, Linda, but three counters did go. So, £150 for you. Thank you. Let's take it and put it into your bank. So, that puts you on £150. And you've still got two counters left. OK. Next question. The 2018 Singapore Summit was a diplomatic meeting between North Korean chairman Kim Jong-un and which US president, Simon? Donald Trump. It was Donald Trump, yes. Simon, do you want to play a pass? Uh, drop zone four, please. Let's do it. Drop zone four for Simon, please. Settles well, a bit more centrally than the others. Can you get hold of Linda's danglers? Yeah, surely, surely, surely. Oi, oh, oi. Oh. Three that drop in for you, Simon. Let's give you £150 for those three. And take it and put it into your bank. So that puts you on £200 now, and one counter still to play. Next question. Featuring scale models of world landmarks made out of colourful plastic bricks, Miniland is an attraction. Simon. Legoland. At which UK theme park? Yeah, absolutely. Well done. It is Legoland. You're going to play? Drop zone four, please. Light it up, please. That top shelf is looking a little bit tricky. Yeah. Now, is that the right place, Simon? What do you think? Mm, oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Can it nudge them? Come on. It won't take much. Oh, oh wow. it's going to take a bit more than that. <laughs> oh. Sadly, nothing from your third and final counter. You've got yourself £200 for the time being, though. You've used all three counters, so you are out. Next question. Nicknamed Fergie, what is the first name of the print? Linda. Rebecca. It's okay. not Rebecca. It's Sarah, isn't it? See. Sarah Ferguson. Nicknamed Fergie, what is the first name of Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie of York's mother? That's Sarah Ferguson. Linda, I'm sorry, we have to steal one of your counters. That's gone into the penalty pot. You'll all be playing for that at the end of the round. You've got one left to play now, Linda. Next question. The Italian landmark that was the focus of a restoration and straightening project in 1990... <laughs> Rob. Leaning Tower of Pisa. It's the Leaning Tower of where? It is Pisa. Yes, well done, Rob. You gonna play? Drop zone four, please. Drop zone four it is? Yes. Steady drop. It's the right side, just where Simon's left a lot dangling yeah. over, but there's a top shelf. Oh. <laughs> Come on. You're going to get them here, Rob? Come on. Finally, Four. there you go. Well yeah, done. Well done Rob. Four counters for you, Rob. Well done. £200. Let's take it and put it into your bank. That sneaks you into second place, and you have £300. You've still got one more left to play. Next question. In Star Trek, the next generation, Patrick Stewart plays Captain Jean-Luc Hu. Tony. Picard. It is Picard, yes. Uh, one last counter for you here, Tony. You're going to play it? I'm going to go drop zone three. Fire it up, please. And that doubles there as well. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice. And there's a mystery on the top as well. Mmm, that size. Going for that mystery you just mentioned, Tony. Is there going to get any action over the top? Oh. Oh, seemingly not, no. 
so nothing from that one. But nonetheless, you've got 450 pounds. You are still leading, but for the time being, you've used all three counters, so you are out. Just Rob and Linda now with one counter left each. Here we go. On a standard clock face, how many degrees is the angle that is formed by the hands when the time is six o'clock? Rob. 60. It's not 60, no, it's 180, isn't it? 180 degrees, Rob. Yeah. We have this dealer counter from you. That's gone into the penalty spot. You stay on 300 pounds. You've now used all three counters, so for the time being, you are out. Okay. Linda, it's just you, because it's just you. You don't need your buzzer. You do need to give me the correct answer to this question to put that counter into the machine. Here we go. Published after Ian Fleming's death, the 1968 Kingsley Amis novel, Colonel's Son, centres on which fictional British spy? James Bond. It is James Bond. Nicely done, Linda. Where are you going to go? I think I'll say four. Yeah. Fire up four, please. OK. Fingers crossed. Just stayed on its edge. This could work very nicely. If it goes flat... It is flat. Good. So there's a very heavy shelf there you can get out here, Linda. Let's... Let's see, and they're going to go... <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, Great good. stuff. Well good. done. Thank you. Six counters, Linda. Three hundred pounds. Great last well drop done. for you there. Let's take Thank it into your bank. Well that draws you level with Tony on four hundred fifty pounds. So as things stand, it is Tony and Linda who are in the lead with four hundred fifty pounds. Rob's got three hundred. Simon's got two hundred. But it's not over. There are two counters up for grabs in the penalty part. I'm going to ask them all one more question. If you buzz in and give me the correct answer, you put both these counters into the machine. Everything could change. If you buzz in and give me the wrong answer, you will be frozen out. Okay. Good luck, everybody. Here comes your penalty pot question. Which letter is represented in the NATO phonetic alphabet by the word X-ray? Simon. E. Oh, no. E. Simon. E for X-ray. No, no, no. <laughs> it's X, of course, it's X. You yes. had to buzz in quickly, and I think, yeah, you, took, I think you took your mouth by surprise, aren't you, yes. Ray? <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid we're going to freeze you out here, Simon. I'm sorry about that. OK. Uh, Tony, Rob, Linda. Another penalty pot question for you here. What letter that appears in the correct spelling of the word salmon is silent? Linda. L. When the word is spoken, Linda, it is L. Well done. You got there first. You get both these counters. Simon, I'm so sorry. That does mean I'm afraid well we're going to be losing you and your E for X-ray. Well done, guys, yeah. <laughs> oh, that will live with me forever, that one. Your mates are going to love that. They're going to... Linda, where do you want to put the first of these two counters? Drop zone four, please. Yeah. Fire up four, please. <laughs> oh, took its oh. time, didn't it? Maybe. Oh, yeah, yes. it's flat. It's flat. It might just... A bit of lateral could take the mission. Yeah. over, yeah. yes. Maybe. Or maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> could be enough, though, don't worry. A couple. One. Oh, oh yeah, oh. well done. Five across the tipping point with that drop there. It's £250. You've got one more still to go. Drop zone four, thank you. I'm going four again, please. Oh, just Ooh, reverse on out. you. Is it going to go flat, this one? It yes, flat? it is, yes. yep. Got it down. Now we need Another a good angle, squeeze. Perhaps. Yeah, a little bit more lateral. Tipping point doesn't look quite so healthy now. You've taken most of it out. Any more to go, though? Yeah, what? one more sneaks in. So Thank another you. 50 pounds. Good. Thanks. Not to be sniffed at, takes you to 300 pounds. Let's take that and put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, Linda is now leading with 750 pounds. Thank you. Tony has 450 pounds. Rob has 300 pounds. Simon, I'm so sorry, but with 200 pounds, we have found your tip point. Thank you for playing. No, thank you very much. It's been a great day. Thank great you. Great to meet you, Simon. Thank you. So join us after the break to see which of today's three remaining players will win through to our head to head and a shot at a 10,000 pound jackpot. See you in a bit. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Tony, Rob and Linda have all survived to play round two. In this round, they'll each have 30 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will give them the counter to play into the machine, as before. The player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be leaving the game. So, Linda, you are now leading, so you get to choose. Would you like to play first, or would you like to ask Rob or Tony to play? I'll take a chance and I'll go first. You're going to go first. The yes. machine looks ready. 30 seconds for Linda, please. 
Your time starts now. When he delivers his catchphrase, what's up, Doc, Bugs Bunny is often munching on what orange vegetable? Carrot. Correct. A famous line from Shakespeare's As You Like It is, all the world's a what? Stage. Correct. Surus was believed to be the last surviving war elephant of which Carthaginian general? Pass. Hannibal. The knee is a hinge joint in which limb of the human body? The leg. Correct. On a standard UK edition Monopoly board, the name of which London borough follows the angel? Islington. Correct. Which carnivorous semi-aquatic mammal lives in a halt? Lives in a halt and has the Latin name Lutra. Lutra, did you know? Um, a rabbit. An otter. An otter. Uh, you got four correct, Linda. Thank That's you. That's not too bad at all. Four counts put into the machine. Where do you want to go first? Drop zone three. Drop zone three it is. Far up, please. So, in with your first one. Double on the edge. That's where Tony That's, left on, isn't that's, it? That's good. I think out. if it's flat. It oh, is flat, yeah. Flat. Nice stack of counter sugar the, forward. Mm -hmm. The mystery's going to come as well, isn't it? Is it going to go over yet? Yes, oh, it does. Yes. Very nice good. job. Push, push, push. Oh, one goes from two, just slides in there. We give you fifty pounds for that one. But you're off the mark with fifty pounds. Thank you. Three left to go, Linda. Where next? I'll stay with drop zone three, please. Three again. Settle. Double's getting close, isn't it? And there's a lot of money there. If this gets that double out, this could be very, very lucrative. It's going to be good. Is it going to be? Will it push, push? Is it going to double it? <laughs> it's just nudging on. forward. Three drop in, though, Linda. £150 we can add. You move up to £200 in the machine. Staying with drop zone three, Linda? Yes, yes. I Fire think it up so. again, please. Settled well too. Is there a bit of a gap there? A little bit oh. of a gap. Ooh. So, can you get the double with this drop? What are you thinking, Linda? I'm hoping. Let's go for it. Drop zone three. Drop. Yes, please. Fire it up. Are you setting it up for the others? In we go. Settle quick. Settle. Will it push that over? Oh, not the, not the Is it going to go? It's quite far from the double, but it could be good anyway. Oh, oh that double survives. You did get three more, though, Linda. Another £150, pounds, including the one that jumped out. Takes you two, 350 in total. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank, Linda. That's going to leave you on £1,100, so well done. Thank you. Right then, Tony, you are ahead of Rob now, so it's your choice now. You can play next or you could ask Rob to play. I think I'm going to play. OK, 30 seconds for Tony, please. Your time starts now. According to the popular saying, you shouldn't put all your eggs in one what? Basket. Correct. The essence of which belief system is to attain enlightenment or Buddhahood? Uh, Buddhism. Correct. Which rodent is one of the 12 animals in the Chinese zodiac? Rat. Correct. In monetary slang, half a grand is how many pounds sterling? 500. Correct. The largest stadium in Ireland, Croke Park, is located in which city? Belfast. Dublin. In 1999, which British artist created the series of 13 prints known collectively as The Last Supper? Damien Hirst. It was Damien Hirst. You got four correct answers, though. Tony, four counts put into the machine. So where would you like to start? Oh, it's got to be drop zone three. Let's have drop zone three, please. 13 counts to catch. Seven with the double. <sighs> nice and flat. A few oh. going, it's all going everywhere. Oh, and the double drops straight away. Well done. That's eight across the tipping point, 400 pounds. But of course, we can double it up because you've got the double that Linda worked so hard to put on the edge for you. <laughs> <laughs> Another 400 pounds. You're up to 800 pounds in the machine. Still got three more to go. So what's your plan now? I think I'm going to go for the mystery prizes and light up drop zone two. Let's do it. Fire up two, please. Drop as it slides down. The mystery's going to get close. A little, little bit of lateral help it forward. No, nothing from that drop there. Still got two more to go, Tony. Top zone two again, please. Two up, please. Rattles down and settles well. 
it's on the side with the mystery as it well. It is, isn't it? Let's squeeze something over, yeah. Mm, not quite. Oh, <laughs> wow. That was a surprise. Tony, that's another 13 across the tipping point, which is sensational, isn't it? 650 pounds we add in, up to 1,450 pounds. You've got one more still to go. Uh, I think I'm going to stay with Drop Zone 2, try and get one of those mysteries out. OK, fire up two, please. Getting there. Oh, it's tried to get over to it, didn't it? Mm. Might just fill that gap. There you go, that silver one dropped. Might take out that little stack in the middle. And that's one more counter for you, so another £50. Pounds. Takes up to £1,500. Wow, what a finish. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. And nicely done, Tony. That leaves you on £1,950. Right then, Rob, we come to you. 30 seconds for Rob, please. Your time starts now. Victor Hugo's novels Les Miserables and The Hunchback of Notre Dame are set in which European country? France. Correct. On which BBC Radio 4 show are castaways invited to choose eight of their favourite music tracks? Pass. Desert Island Discs. Which imperial unit of weight is often abbreviated to the letters LB? Pound. Correct. Typically used in Italian cooking, passata is a thick sauce made from which bread? Tomatoes. Correct. In the film Muppet Treasure Island, which female Muppet plays Benjamina Gunn? Miss Piggy. Correct. In Norse mythology, Frigg is the wife of which god? Odin. Ah, Frigg is the wife of Odin. Four correct answers for you, Rob. Very nicely done. Four counters to put into the machine. What are you thinking, Rob? Drop zone two and try and get a mystery prize. OK, let's see what we can do. Fire up drop zone two, please. And there's a gap there. Yeah, yeah. Bit of lateral content in the middle, black counter. Mm, I think it's going to fill a gap. Ooh, Ooh shuffles oh, the shelf. Really? OK, nothing there. Still three to go. I go drop zone two again, please. Two again, please. Now, nah, that's better. That's a bit better. Oh, yes. Ooh, go on, slides hopefully. double as well. Stay on it. Just shifted. <laughs> two more still to go, Rob. And drop zone two again. You can. Fire up two, please. Same place I want it. It would be point. perfect, wouldn't it? On the other side. Well, there is a double on the other side. Yeah, there is a counter. There's a mystery there, there, yeah. Yeah. We need some stuff Maybe. down, though. Good broad shove. Three sneak in. Not quite the ones we want, but three yeah. counters have dropped for you, Rob. Let's give you £150 for those three. And one more to go in, Rob. I go drops on two again, please, Ben. Got to try it, haven't we? Far yeah. up two, please. Yes, now. Oh. Hopefully, if we can get a few over the top, Fingers the ones that are crossed. dangling in an extra one, and they can attack Come as a on. team. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on, go on. Go on. Yes. Ooh. And a broader shove with a bit Come of lateral. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Finally got it to the tipping point, but it's not going <laughs> to drop. One more counter to add in. Sadly, Rob, it won't be enough. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank, because at the end of the round, Tony is leading with £1,950. Linda has £1,100. Rob, I'm so sorry. It's been absolutely lovely. But with £500, we have found your tipping point. Thank you for playing. Thank you very much for having me. Great stuff. Uh, so it is Tony and Linda who will be going head-to-head -head after the break for the right to play for our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Welcome back to Tipping Point, where just two players remain, Tony and Linda. Well done to both of you for getting this far. We're about to find out which one is going to take on the machine for our jackpot today. In this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer, or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put the counter into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the counter into the machine. And whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner. Uh, Tony, you are leading at the moment, so it's your choice. If you like the first question, we'd like to offer it to Linda. I think I'm going to take the first question. Here we go, then. A popular tourist destination, the island of Fuerteventura, is located in which ocean? Now, you can play this or you can pass it to Linda. I know where it is. I can't think of the ocean, so I'm going to pass. Right, Linda. So, do you know of Fuerteventura? Yes. I think it's the Mediterranean. You think it might be the Mediterranean? I think so. OK. Tony, what were you thinking? I think in Atlantic. You thought it might be Atlantic. 
Be a great steal, Linda, because you've got a bit of work to do yes. here. Fuerteventura, would you find it in the Mediterranean? No, it's not. It is in the Atlantic, actually. It is in the Atlantic. Uh, Tony, you get the counter, because Linda was wrong. So where would you like to put it? Drop zone one. OK, let's have drop zone one, please. Ooh. Yeah, rapid drop. Anything coming here? Oh, it's just going to split. That silver one could go. Yes, Ooh. it does. Now, is that going to squeeze the double over? Two do slide in, though, Tony. Good choice. £100 for those two. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank. And that extends your lead. You're now on £2,050. Right then, Linda, we come to you. Time for your first question. In the classic UK version of Cluedo, the two rooms whose names begin with the letter B are the billiard room and which other? You can play or pass. I think I'll play. You're going to play it? OK, so which rooms can you think of? Bedroom. You're going with bedroom. OK, let's find out. Is the answer the bedroom? No. No. It's the ballroom. It's the ballroom. So, Tony, you get the counter. Where do you want to go? Drop zone two. OK, fire it up, please. Try there. Mm. Now, might take out that little stack in the middle mm. that could then move the mystery. Nope, just going to go around it. So nothing. No damage mm. done, fortunately, Linda. Tony, you keep control, though. Time for your second question. In March 2019, an exhibition of works, including Sunflowers and Starry Night by the Rhone, by which Dutch artist opened at Tate Britain? I'm going to play. You're going to play I, this one. I know this. You do know it. I'm a big art fan. Oh, so. fantastic. Um, it's Vincent van Gogh. You're going with Vincent van Gogh. Let's see. Sunflowers and Starry Night by the Rhone. Were they painted by Vincent van Gogh? Of course they were. Well done, Tony. Lovely. Right, counter for you here. What are you thinking? I think I'm going to stick with drop zone two. Fire up two, please. Ball rattled down nicely. What's going to go over the top shelf here? Might just get that one. Oh, that might help you, though. It's a nice stash yeah. there, though. And that's two more falling for you, Tony, there. Another £100. Let's put that into your bank there, Tony. Puts you on £2,150. Right, Linda, we come to you. Time for your second question. In 2019, Max Bowden became the sixth actor to play which long-running EastEnders character? I don't watch EastEnders. It's one of the soaps I don't watch. Um, so I will pass it. Right, Tony. Max Bowden. Have you heard of Max Bowden? I have not, but... Oh. I think I know the answer. Right. I think it's Ben Mitchell. You think it's Ben Mitchell? It's a great answer if you're right, Tony. Let's see. Is it Ben Mitchell? I think you're right. She is right. Tony, that's a great answer. Very well done. You've got another counter here. I think I'm going to stick with drop zone two. Fire two up. That looks good, doesn't it? Let's There's see. a big cluster at there. There is. Get this Something's one. going over, yeah. Yes. Is it going to squeeze the mystery price through? Oh. Three counters drop in. Let's give you £150 for those three. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank. And that's going to put you on £2,300. You keep control as well. It's time for your third and final question. Which of the five original members of Take That is the youngest? Um, I have no idea. Um, so I'm going to have to pass. You're passing it over? Right, Linda, we need to steal this one. Can you name the five? Yes, um, Robbie Williams, Gary Barlow, um, Howard... Joan, Howard Donald, Howard, Howard, <laughs> Howard, um, Jason Orange, and the smaller one. <laughs> oh, right. I'll just go with Howard Donald. Howard Donald, you're going with Howard? If that's his name. Tony, what would you have said? I would have said Mark. But Mark oh, Owen. it's Mark. Mark that's the one that you think Mark of. Yeah, that's you weren't sure. OK, that was the one that Mark Linda couldn't think of. Yeah. But you've gone with Howard, Linda. We can really do with this one. I'm going with Howard. Please, let it be Howard. Linda would love to go with Howard. 
Oh, it's not Howard. It was Robbie. No. Yeah, Howard's actually the oldest. Oh. Uh, Tony, though, you get the counter. It was a good pass. Where do you want to put it? I'm going to stick with drop zone two. Two up, please. Or oh, the other mystery. Ooh. Let's see if we can get the other mystery close. It's a lovely cluster there as well, isn't there? Here you go, coming up. Oh, it's just sliding into a gap. <laughs> so nothing there. Right, Linda, one last question for you. One last chance. Here we go. Right. In July 2018, Brazilian footballer Felipe Anderson was signed from Italian side Lazio by which London football club? I'll pass it. Passing it over. Tony. So, are you into your football at all? I am, yes. Oh! <laughs> but I have no idea who he is. <laughs> Do you, what's your team, Tony? I'm a Spurs fan. <sighs> and I know he didn't sign for us, so that okay. means one of them out. Rule out Spurs. Arsenal. Going with Arsenal? Going to go with Arsenal. Felipe Anderson at Arsenal. Right, if you're wrong, Linda, finally we've got your counter. Felipe Anderson. Did he sign for Arsenal? No, he didn't. Sign for West Ham. Sign for the best of those teams, <laughs> by the way. Right. Yeah, yes, if you Linda. say so. In, in your <laughs> opinion. <laughs> in your opinion. Good <laughs> uh, idea. So, Linda, you finally got yourself a counter. Excellent. Right, let's see. What are you thinking? Well, I'll go for drop zone two. Bar up drop zone two, please. Get it down that right-hand side. Yep. The one on the left might be a bit far back. Go to the right, go to the right. Go, 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 go. Steady, steady, steady. Is it going to be flat? I'm not oh. sure. Yes, it yes. is. Can you squeeze that silver counter over? Just on the right, if it gets enough, squeeze. I'm not sure, is it going to no. go? Oh! Ooh, three counters drop in, sadly. Won't be enough. It's £150. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, with £2,300, very well played, Tony. It's been a really impressive performance. You are today's winner. Congratulations to you. Thank you very much. Well done. Uh, Linda, I'm so sorry, but that does mean with £1,250, it's been great fun, but we have found your tipping point. Thank you for playing, Linda. Thank you very much. It's been great fun. It's been really lovely to meet you. Thank you. Uh, so, Tony is our champion. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put our jackpot counter, this one right here, into the machine. It's bigger than the others and so much better. So, if you can get it out again, you're going to go home with £10,000. Can Tony master the machine by finding its jackpot tipping point? Find out after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to the final part of Tipping Point. Tony is our winner today and has managed to get £2,300. Very well done. We would love to send you home with our jackpot in some capacity if we can. If we were to get that out, what do you think you'd do with it? Uh, well, my best friend is currently in Australia. Um, and I haven't seen him since Christmas. So it's looking like we're going to go over there and see him and surprise him and maybe go around Asia as well. Fantastic. So turn it into a big trip. Yeah. Well, uh, fingers crossed, Tony, because obviously we could do that with 10,000 if we can get the jackpot out. So fingers crossed. Yeah. Time to find out whether Tony's going to win our jackpot in a few moments. I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. If you want to go home with 10,000 pounds, just get it out again. Fancy going home with 20 grand. See if you can get this drop with the double that's sitting there on the bottom shelf of drop zone one. Here's how you're going to do it. I'm going to show you six question categories for each category. You choose to play one, two or three counts into the machine. The more you play for, the harder the question will be. The more you win, the better your chances of getting the jackpot counter out. So, what are you thinking? That double is just too enticing. The top of drop zone one's quite stacked, so I'm thinking yes. drop zone one. Fire it up, please. Settled very nicely, yeah. very quickly. <laughs> it was tight, wasn't it? But we're down. Wow, the bottom shelf there is looking a little bit sparse, but we're going to fill that up as we go. Yeah. And hopefully we can send a few across and get that double closer and closer. You never know. We've got the jackpot in a lovely position, though. Let's have a look at your categories then, Tony. This is what we have for you. Nature, music, sport, history, TV and literature. You can play them in any order. So where do you want to start for how many? I think I'm going to go with TV. OK. For three. Right. TV for three to get us going, please. The BBC drama Happy Valley stars which former Coronation Street actress as a Yorkshire police sergeant? Saran Jones, Shobhana Gulati, or Sarah Lancashire? I think I know this one. Good. Do you watch it? I don't. And I've never watched much Coronation Street either, but I remember uh, the Yorkshire police sergeant, but her last name was Lancashire. So I think I'm going to go Sarah Lancashire. Sarah Lancashire? Yeah. All right, we're going to light up Lancashire, please. 
Let's see if you're right then. Is it Sarah Lancashire? You're absolutely right. Brilliant start. Well done. You've got some great random knowledge in there, haven't you? Some say it's a curse. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Three counters. Drop zone one. Of course. Fire it up, please. Oh, slams down. That's the one that's going to go over into two. That might bring the mystery over, Could though. get closer, couldn't it? Yeah. This is all this cluster that you were battling out in the last round over. Ooh, oh, that little tweak. Two drop in, though. Let's give you £100 for those two. Up to £2,400. Two more to go then, Tony. Drop zone one. Drop zone one. Fire it up. There, right at the jackpot. Lovely. Just fill that shelf just on that side. Yeah, nice. One more to go. Drop zone one. One up, please. got there. I'm not sure it's going to sneak past it, isn't it? That silver candle will go on the top shelf, though. Oh, a little squeeze. <laughs> Four counters dropped in, though. £200 for you. Takes up to £2,600. The jackpot count is looking good, isn't it? It's just it's teetering on the edge. Great start, Tony. Let's go back to the categories, then. Let's go sport for three. Sport for three, please. In February 2019, which cricketing nation did Scotland bowl out for a score of 24 in an international match? Afghanistan, Kenya or Oman? Now, I'm not a big cricket fan. Right. But something is drawing me to pick Kenya. Um, because I know Afghanistan are in the Cricket World Cup and I think Oman are as well. I'm going to go with Kenya. Kenya? Kenya. OK, we're going to load up Kenya. Let's see if you're right, then. Did the Scots bowl out the Kenyans for 24? <sighs> it was Oman. Oh. It was Oman, sadly. Right, not to worry, let's go back to the categories. Let's go music for three. Music for three. Which Rolling Stones song spent the most weeks at number one in the UK charts? Paint It Black, Satisfaction or Honky Tonk Woman? Ooh, Stones fan? No, <laughs> not at all. Um... It's got to be Satisfaction. It's one of their most popular songs. Weeks at number one. Yeah, I'm going to go Satisfaction. Satisfaction? Yeah. Going straight down the middle with Satisfaction, please. Is it Satisfaction? Oh, oh Honky Tonk Woman. Never heard of it. Not to worry, let's go back to the categories. Let's go Nature, but this time for two. All right. Nature for two, please. To what class of animals do bats belong? Bird, mammal, or reptile? They're not birds because they don't have feathers. And I don't think that they're reptiles. So I think I'm going to go mammal. Mammal? Yeah. Right, we're going with mammal, please. Let's find out. Is the answer mammal? Yes, they are. That's better. Well done. Two counters. Right, drop zone one. Drop zone one, please. Do it, please. Oh, no, it's not. I thought it was going to go. It might that. get a little bit of a nudge. I think it might. Yes. There we go. We're down. Ooh. And four counters drop in, including that one from drop zone two. So let's add that £200 in. It takes us up to £2,800. Drop zone one. Drop zone one. Fire up, please. Ooh. Stop, 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 stop. Mm. No, if that could work if it gets flat. It does. Yep. Yeah, that'll do. That's just where it needs to Fill be there, gap. Tony. Nice. Great stuff. Two really great drops. Perfect. Right, back to the categories. I'm going to go with literature, and this time I'm going to go for three. Back yourself. Let's have it. Yeah. Literature for three. Wackford Squeers, the headmaster of Do the Boys Hall, is a character in which Charles Dickens novel? David Copperfield, Oliver Twist, or Nicholas Nickleby? Well, I know that Oliver Twist, I don't think he went to school. Right? And for some reason, I 
I know it's not, but the only thing that comes to mind with David Copperfield is magic. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I'm going to go Nicholas Nickleby. Nicholas Nickleby? Yeah. OK, we're going to light up Nicholas Nickleby, please. Is it Nicholas Nickleby? Yes, it is. Well done. Brilliant. Really great. Whew. Of course, we've got three counters now. Yeah. We could do that. Drop zone one. Drop zone one, please. Fire it up, please. OK, it's no bad thing if we move that. Double. Yeah, move that double forward. And get that black counter down. Is it going to go? Yes, flips. And take out that little cluster there that we've yes. been waiting a long time. <laughs> Six counters go for us. £300 we can add in there, Tony. That's going to take you over three grand. Lovely. £3,100. Two more to go. Drop zone one, please. One up. Just oh. too fast. It's perfect. Just too fast. Oh, Tony, that's so annoying. Look at that. Sadly, it's just going to ride up. Mm. OK, one more to go. Drop zone one, please. Drop zone one, please. Do the same, do the same, do the same. Settle, settle. Is it going to move to the silver one, though? Gonna move. Oh, and that's going to move the black one, too? Yes. yes. Come on, Tony. We're getting close now. Four counters drop in. Two hundred pounds. Let's add that up. Three thousand three hundred pounds. Double counter is on the tipping point. The jackpot counter is on the tipping point. Let's have a look at the categories. What we've got left. You have saved history till last. I either know or I don't, so I'm just going to go for three. History for three. Which of these fabrics shares its name with the 1989 revolution in Czechoslovakia? Suede, velvet or wool? I don't... I, if I'm honest, I don't know. For some... For some reason, I feel like velvet is the answer. And I... Let's go with velvet. You've got to stick with your gut. Stick with my gut. We're going velvet, please. Was it the velvet revolution? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> well done. Right, three counters. You give yourself three chances. Yeah. Come on, Tony. It's got to be a drop zone one. Got to be. Fire it up. Could we get the double with it? Oh, yes. Now, that's going to be all right. It's good. If it could... Squ uh. <laughs> Didn't quite go the way we wanted it, did it? One drops in. Takes up to £3,350. Two more to go. Drop zone one. One up, please. Down the left. You've got to fill that hole. Yes, yes, yes. So that's where it needs to be, Tony. Definitely. One more. One more. Drop zone one. Let's copy. have drop zone one. Stick it on the left hand side. Where's it going? Where's it going? Where's it... Oh, I'm not sure it's going to be far enough. Where's it going, Tony? It's going to. Oh. Can it slide slightly? Stay on it. Stay on it. Oh. oh. 50 pounds drops in, Tony. Takes to 3,400 pounds. But we're out of questions. We're out of categories. However, it's not over. I'm going to offer you one last chance to leave today with 10,000 pounds, maybe even 20,000 pounds. As things stand, you've got 3,400 pounds. You could walk away with that money right now, or you could trade it for three final counters put into the machine in the hope of getting the jackpot counter out. If you decide to take the trade, though, nothing else has any value. You leave with 10,000 pounds, maybe even £20,000, or you leave with no money at all. The question is, would three be enough, Tony? I think it would be. Are you much of a risk taker in life, do you think? I've got to be. I have to be in this situation, so I'm going to take the trade. Just need to confirm. Would you like to take the money or the trade? I'd like to take the trade. She's taking the trade, everybody. So you're giving me £3,400. I'm going to give you three more counters in the hope of getting that jackpot counter out. We literally just need one in the right place, Tony, and it's all yours. Fingers crossed now. Drop zone one? Yeah. Fire it up, please. Oh. OK, so it's down. Now, what's that going to do if they spread? 
That's what we need is these three to spread, separate, separate, separate. Oh, they have as well. Go on. Onto the double. Go on. Oh. Did you see that? I did, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the jackpot squeezed out. Oh. Right. With a little nudge. Well, the double's dropped, so that's out of play. The most we're playing for now is 10,000. Two more to go. Drop, Drop zone, zone one. one. Fire it up. It's all on that left-hand side now, Tony. You've got two counters to do this. Come on now. <sighs> Not necessarily where we need it to be, but you never know. Freeze together. So, Tony, you had £3,400. You gave it all to me for three counters. Yeah. You put two in. We've got one left. Drop zone one. Scott Drop B. zone one. Fire it up. Come on, machine. Be good. Get over. Get over. Now, is it going to go? We need some magic lateral here, Tony. Oh, is this going to get it? Got to squeeze hard. Oh. Tony, I'm sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. Oh. For the world, I thought that was going to go. I did too. <laughs> but this machine has a very tricky twist up her sleeve. I'm so, so sorry. I came with nothing. I'm leaving with nothing. I've had a wonderful day. It is what it is. It is what it is. You're absolutely <laughs> right, and that's the way to think about it. It's been amazing. You've been very, very bright all the way through. You've shown us some fantastic knowledge that, sadly, the machine today didn't want to give you that jackpot counter. Thank you so much. Thank you. So there you go. Tony's leaving with absolutely nothing. She had £3,400. She bravely took the trade. I think we all felt it was going to go today. She didn't want to play. Join us next time when the fate of former players were hanging the balance on Tipping Point. Goodbye.